Falcon Channel 10 solve its Sunday night disaster. The project sinks in the ratings to just 100... What? 312,000 viewers? Damn, I'll get more, ch I'll get more viewers on my, so on my YouTube channel and I'm only new. As nines, the block continues to smash the million mark. Okay, so the project sucks because of its far left progressive hosts, probably. But that would be my suggestion, you know. Get new show. Just get rid of this progressive agenda that you're trying to push onto everybody and actually just report the news. Factually. Yeah, it'd be a novel concept, I know. But, you know, people actually just want facts. They just want news. They don't want a biased agenda. It's why people like me are getting more and more popular and why people like you are failing. But let's jump into this. Channel 10's network audience share has noticeably dropped since January, according to OZ TAM figures. And the CBS-owned broadcaster flopped in the ratings on Sunday, with the project attracting just 312,000 viewers across the five major cities. In comparison, Channel 9's The Block came out on top with a metro audience of 1.3 million, making it the highest rating episode on this season so far. I didn't even know the block was on. That's how much TV I watch. But anyway, moving along. The Sunday's project fell to 13th place in the primetime slot with just 312,000 Metro viewers tuning in. Coming out on top was the block at uh, 1.3 million. It's already said that. Followed by 9 News Sunday with roughly a million. And 7 News with just over roughly a million. The block also celebrated the highest rating episode to date as far as this season. Overall, Network 10 ratings performance drive, uh, de 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 Overall, Network 10 ratings performance delivered an audience share of 7.5% on Sunday compared to 9's 26.5%, 7's 20.8%, and the ABC's 12.1%. So the ABC is actually having a higher rating share than Channel 10 at the moment. Holy dooly. The Daily Mail has contacted Network 10 for comment. 10, which was brought by CBS in August last year, has continued to show a steady decline in ratings according to OTAN figures. By late April of this year, the total audience share had declined from 32.8% to 20% across the five major cities and during the primetime nightly spot. Year on year, the total audience share has been dropping by approximately 2%. Uh, in April, Network 10's Chief Content Officer, Beverly McGreville, described the ratings as flat rather than weak. Uh -huh. There's a big difference between those two definitions in there. She told the Sunday Morning Herald that the time Channel 10 is actually up this year by a fraction in the 25 to 54 demos, referring to the 6pm to 10.30pm nightly time slot. However, Beverly did admit that as of late 2017, there was still room for improvement regarding Sunday night's programming. We aren't happy with our Sunday performance at all, she said. Okay, um, so I want to go through and just have a look at the comments. It's easy via the Patreon smug male-hating dialogues. People don't like being preached to, even if it's Sunday. The program is crap with or without Lisa. Get rid of Lisa, the ratings will improve. Just move it to the ABC where ratings don't matter. Uh, it's a combination of cherry picking issues, a soapbox on, mixed with shoveling leftist ideas down everyone's throat and coming across as elitist snobs if anyone dares to question them. Uh, dumping Weasel, uh, dump, uh, dump Wessel, uh, people don't like him, it's lectured at night by someone who thinks they're highly of themselves. Uh, someone responded saying Wessel is it on Sundays. Um, wow, she's not even really worth her multi-million dollar price tag now, is she? Channel 10 a bit of a quandary now. Uh, the project stinks because it Lisa stinks, uh, which I don't really... Look, I'm no fan of hers, but I don't think it's just her that's causing this problem. Uh, after the murder of Melbourne woman earlier this year, Lisa publicly shamed police officers for telling women to take precautions. Women have the right to move freely, Lisa snobbed in a monologue on the project. 
So she is more than happy to throw the policeman under the bus, but somehow I don't think she'd be doing a tearful public monologue calling out her own bosses who have now been accused of sexual assault. Perhaps those are people who are tuning in out of the project, they're sick or tired of Lisa's self-serving, sentimentous, prick-and-choose feminism. Okay, um, so you get a rough idea of the comments that are actually coming back from this. And what is my take? It's a far-left progressive narrative-pushing agenda. There is a reason why I don't watch mainstream media, and it's because it's all shit. It is all far left, progressive. Like, if you you have any questions about how far left these guys are, these are the guys that went through, did a 15 or 20 minute interview with KCJ, hacked the shit out of the interview, went on a mylog going on about how it was supposedly funded by the MRAs, was literally flamed for their hack job that they did on KCJ, who is, by the way, a feminist. And at the end of the day, it was so bad, they actually had to disable comments and take down the video. Because people were calling them out so much regarding that. So at the end of the day, am I surprised by this? No, that this is... Everybody knows this game. This is a far-left, progressive, narrative-pushing opinion news. It, 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 that's all it is. It's opinions. It's them pushing an opinion. And everybody's sick of it. People want facts. People want honesty. People want people to be able to have an open dialogue where you can sit there and you can have a left and a right and a, a centrist or a, and a right and a, a centrist and a left, whoever it may be, have opposing people talking about topics. They don't want these echo chambers that the Channel 9, Channel 7 and all that seemingly want to push. And at the end of the day, that's all it is. It, it's the fact that these, these rich elites in the multimedia industry, these corporate shills for mainstream media are fake. No one believes you anymore. Don't be surprised when you're literally getting beaten by the block. Look, I'm not saying the block's a bad show, but it's fake. It's drama, okay? It's, it's dramatized. And at the end of the day, people know that and are willing to watch a show about home reno and drama more than they're going to watch about news and the current affairs. Because they know the news and the current affairs is fake. There's a reason why people turn into alternative media. Look, not everybody in alternative media is open and, and unbiased. There are people that are pushing an agenda. But at least they're honest about it. And at least you know that when you tune into their channel. These guys sit here, they're kind of be fair and unbiased news while pushing a progressive agenda. It's it's a shill. It's a joke. They're corporate shills. Because, I don't know, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Why do you think that the, this is failing? Why do you think that Channel 10 can't seemingly do any good with their ratings on a Sunday night? Do you think it's just the fact that, that Lisa sucks? Do you think it's the fact that the project as a whole sucks? Do you think it's the fact that Project has been tainted by so many bad stories coming out from it that people have debunked the narrative so many times they've lost credibility like CNN, for example, over in America? Or do you think it's just the fact that, that people are tuning in to watch the renovation? They're just tuning in to watch the block because it's more entertaining. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.